want to thank everyone for coming today. Today is Health and Wellness Day, Good and Goes Green. We want to thank all our vendors for showing up today. Let's give them a big hand. We have a couple speakers today. My name is Deb Ryan, and I've been organizing this event. We've been planning this for almost a year. The purpose of Health and Wellness Day basically was to introduce and provide health care information to the Goodwin community and also to the outside com community. We found that 86% of our Goodwin College students are working, attending class, attending college, and we really recognized that we needed to provide them with some type of resource to balance their life. So we wanted to bring to our community, bring to our students, a sense of what health and wellness does and what it is. Basically through peace of mind, through body, and through financial security. So today we've asked uh, several vendors, we have 36 in all, to come out and to display anything that had to do with health and wellness. Also, if you wonder where Goodwin Goes Green comes from, we recognize that the environment affects your health and Goodwin College is committed to helping and providing information on ways that can improve our environment. And as you know, we just cleaned up the uh, contaminated oil tanks that were out in our fields. And we really wanted to let the community know that we, we promote green and as much health and wellness to not only our Goodwin community, but also to the community in general. I would like to introduce to you Mr. Jeff Valen, who is here from Fox News. Good morning, and welcome to the Goodwin College Health and Wellness Day. Now, uh, uh, my name is Jeff Bell, I'm with Fox 61, and uh, of course, very pleased to be here to join you today for the event. Now, over the last 10 years or so, Goodwin College has grown and become a regional leader in academic preparation for healthcare and environmental jobs. That growth has not only been uh, in terms of that uh, sort of uh, the abstract sense, but of course, physically as well with this uh, building and this campus just opening up a few months ago, as you're all aware. Now, uh, all of this growth has been possible thanks to many partnerships and support from organizations in the community. And that's why today Goodwin College is honored to have organizations from throughout the region uh, coming together to provide health resources for the community. Uh, it's no news that there's been a lot of news about health care lately and uh, what should be done about providing better health care for Americans. And in the meantime, it's important that events such as uh, the Health and Wellness Day continue to happen to give the community access to key health information. And with that in mind, it's my pleasure to introduce one of the physicians here today from Woodland Women's Health Associates, Dr. Maria Ellis. Dr. Ellis is also a member of the College of Health Trustees. Thank you, Dr. Ellis. Thank you for joining us today at Goodwin College's first Health and Wellness Day. Uh, as a trustee for Goodwin College, I have spoken with many of our students who are all facing challenges when it comes to their health. They have concerns about health care coverage and the cost of medical visits, worries about how to find time to exercise in between studying and working, and questions about preventing certain diseases. And too often we are all too busy taking care of everyone else and we forget to take care of ourselves. Nor do we have time to figure out what steps we could take to incorporate healthy habits into our everyday lives. It can all seem very overwhelming. Goodwin College hopes that today's Health and Wellness Day will help our students and everyone joining us from the community to learn more about ways to make healthy choices that are reasonable and effective. Today, more than 30 organizations are representing many areas of health, providing free information, free screenings, exercises and relaxation techniques, healthy food choices, and many more offerings. We encourage you to explore the main lobby of Goodwin College and the second floor at the top of the staircase to experience all of the aspects of health and wellness provided here. And I've been asked to say a few points specifically about the bone marrow screening that's going on today. Today just involves filling out a form and taking that Q-tip mouth swab to enter you into the registry. And I'd like to conclude my comments today by thanking the planning committee as well as the students, faculty, and other volunteers for organizing today's events. And I'd like to say a special thank you to Deb, and I'm going to do a bad job with your name, Deb, uh, Ryan Emmy. <laughs> Thank you very much, 
Dr. Ellis. And the day is officially kicked off. Thank you for having me here, and uh, may we all be blessed with fantastic.